Hey guys, Nappa here, and I want to talk about whatever happened to mod support on consoles. When Sony and Microsoft had dabbled in mod support with the Bethesda titles of Fallout 4 and Skyrim Remastered, my immediate thought was that this was the beginning of something great. I thought Bethesda had got the ball rolling, and more companies and more developers would be including mod support for their games on console. One of the games I had specifically in mind was Black Ops 3, because they have great mod tools and mod support on PC, and I was imagining that they would probably bring uh, something very similar to the console, uh, you know, maybe through a, a, a marketplace of mods similar to what Skyrim Remastered has. But almost a year later, and we haven't seen any other games implement mod support on consoles. And it really baffles me, because as a gamer, I know that mods drive sales. I, as well as many others, owned Skyrim on the Xbox 360, and then bought it again once Skyrim Remastered came out on the Xbox One, simply for the mods. I owned Call of Duty World at War on the Xbox 360, and when I built my gaming PC, I bought it again simply for the custom Zombies maps. In fact, I bought it twice. I bought a copy for me and a copy for my friend so that we could play the maps together. So why haven't we seen more games implementing mod support? I mean, a year later we've seen virtually no games do what Bethesda has done, even though it seems like a no-brainer. I, I want to say that maybe the developers don't see enough of a return on the investment of time and money that it would take to implement mods into console gaming, but like I said, mods do drive sales. Uh, and you know, if, if your average gamer can tell you that, I, I would hope that the gaming developers would be smart enough to uh, know that as well, and I know they are. So I can't really come up with a solid reason as to why we haven't seen more games with mods on console, but what I can say is in the future, and this is just my prediction, it could turn out to be totally false, I've been wrong before, but I believe at some point in the future we will be seeing mods in console games become a commonplace thing. And my reasoning for this is just look at the path that consoles are taking. They're doing everything they can to be as much like a PC as physically possible. The Xbox One is implementing a backwards compatible library of Xbox 360 games and they're always adding new games to that library. And the PS4 has the PS2 on PS4 emulator thing going on. And the reason they're doing this is because one of the main reasons people would game on PC is because you can play any game from any generation on PC. If you want to play Battlefield 1 and then Call of Duty 2 and then Conker's Bad Fur Day and then Pong all in the same play session on the same system, you could do that on PC. So consoles know that if they want to compete, they have to have something similar. On top of that, both of the current gen consoles have built-in DVRs that record your gameplay back, and they have editing softwares which allow you to create content for the internet, which you would have previously had to have a PC and a capture card to do. The list goes on. They are doing everything they can to be as close to a PC as possible. And if this trend continues, it only seems like common sense that eventually mods would become more common. But also, I look at it like this. PC gaming is becoming more and more mainstream, because a lot of console gamers today are switching over to PC. They see the simplicity, which is the main reason that people use consoles, slowly disappearing. And when that simplicity is gone, people realize, well, then what's the point of playing on console? Why not play on PC, where I have higher frame rates, better graphics, mod support, uh, I can play games from any generation, and I don't have to play or pay a yearly subscription to play online. Now, while PC sales are on the rise, consoles are still more popular and they are still outselling PCs, and that's how it's been for a very long time. But I think if more developers would start implementing mod support in their games, and if Sony and Microsoft would make it as easy as possible for these developers to do so, they could really counter the rise in PC sales and they could definitely secure themselves in where they're at. They could definitely keep consoles on top by doing something like that. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.